Hello everybody, Average Gamer here. So today we have another episode of Armored Warfare. That's right, Armored Warfare. So you see a whole bunch of tanks here. Um, newsflash, if you've recently signed in and noticed you're in the same position of where I am, where you have a whole bunch of tanks, um, it's because you got a bunch for free. Um, this one here, the G54, was given for free for a little while ago. Um, the M41 was given to people for free a little while ago. Um, the T62 VET as well, was provided for free to everyone for a little while, and then the Type 59 Legend as well was uh, provided for free for everyone as well. But right now, obviously one of the things we want to do is, is uh, you know, play the living shit out of this and unlock some, uh, some leopards, um, but I thought, I want to do a little change of things. I've been playing MBTs pretty much outside of the initial um, wave of the game. Um, just been constant, constant uh, main battle tanks, like the uh, Leopard 1 here. And our plan is, obviously, if I go to the dealers here, is to go all the way down and get the Leopard 2A6 right here, this little puppy. Um, Oh, here we go. To unlock this, uh, unlock this tier 9 vehicle, you must advance to tier 8 vehicle of the same dealer to renown status, whatever, and then spend vehicle reputation. To purchase this vehicle, unlock tier 9. Now, that's a little different. Some tanks, like I believe the Challenger, in um, in the European-esque, or the, the British backslash Russian trees, you have to do X amount of damage and bounce X amount of, um, of, uh, of stuff, so... Yeah, one of the things I'm also thinking of doing is getting tank destroyers. Is working our way down the tank destroyer tree as well. So we'll have a scout tree, so we'll be constantly working on a scout tank. Then we'll have an MBT, which obviously is going to be our leopard. And then, and then, we're also going to have our recon, our tank destroyer, and our artillery. So our plan is to have, basically, an MBT, so we have number one our MBT, number two our scout vehicle, number three our tank destroyer, and number four our self-propelled gun, aka our artillery. The plan is obviously the Panzerhaus 2000, the MGS, which is uh, made and designed here in Canada, the Weezer, and Leopard 2 A6, which is right here. Now we might, we might get the Draco, or the crab. They're armored fighting vehicles. They're kind of a mixture of these two here. Why they're sitting over here, I don't know. The Draco also is partially anti-tank as well, so it's a mixture of these two. Well, the crab is a mixture of these two. Um, it's like a fox almost. Uh, I don't know if the fox is... Yeah, fox is right here. So if you look at the fox, and look at the crab. Fox. Crab. As you can see initially, it's yeah, it's all this stuff. So the plan is, kind of clean up the garage a little bit. The plan is to get is to sell this puppy. We won't get any money because we got him for free. Uh, zero. Um, these two tanks here, the Patton 48 and the M41, we got the Patton 48. We had to pay for. We had to obviously grind our way up. So we're gonna sell the M41. Ooh, we have money for it. We never even we never even bought them. Sweet. Um, we're gonna keep these two. These were special. Um, this guy right here, the legend. It's good for for grinding for money. Um, main reason why is because he's a premium tank, just like these three here. Technically, they're premium, hence the star. They um, they just gain extra, so a little extra stuff. Nothing too fancy, but. Uh, yeah, I just gained a little extra. Um, the T-54, I believe, is something we're going to need on the Shishkin side. Yeah. So we're going to keep him for keep him for now. Um, we better make our decision whether we want the M113 or the LAV-150. I'm thinking the LAV-150 mainly because when we bring up our, our, our for example, our ammo, overall, the penetration, like the damage it can do, is 29 and the penetration, it can penetrate up to 92 millimeters. Um, a lot of the stuff we're going to come across 
not going to be able to penetrate so much as we if we hit them in the wrong spot, but at least we'll be able to harass for the NPTs to get in and uh, and cause a significant amount of damage. Now that's our, our heaviest hitting piece of ammo. It's nine bucks a round. Well, with the M113, it's 22 and 69, so 29 and 92, 22 and 69. So it doesn't do as much. Um, it's definitely the worst of the two. So I'm thinking, I mean, it is a tier one, and we're going to come across these when we play them anyways, and we're going to be able to chew them up. So I'm thinking, you know what, let's sell this puppy. When we go to our dealers here, it doesn't matter which one of these two I have, as long as we have them, it works decent. So the plan is to get this guy and this guy to replace them. We only have enough money for one, so I'm thinking we're going to go with the... Um, yeah, we're going to go with the, the recon first. Oop. And we got some... Uh, Use multiple vehicles across all tiers, two tiers, purchase four, tier three. Oh, Q. So we just made 50 grand towards our next tank. We're ready. We haven't done anything yet. We don't have the own five vehicles achievement. Or, um, oh no, we have the old five vehicles achievement. We just have the old, don't have the old ten. Just like in a lot of other games, you have to buy and purchase your slots, so it can get a little bit of pain in the ass. Um, the patent 48, we've already unlocked our Leopard 1, which we're going to use to go down this tier anyways. So we're going to sell it. The, the, sorry, the patent 48, we're going to sell that one as well. We're going to get 30, 1, 9. Well, so now we have, fortunately, well, let me change the order, will it? No, it won't let me change the order. Oh, okay, it's just showing different, uh, let's see if we can paint this puppy. All this costs gold. Um, okay. We're not spending gold. Oh, well, you only get it for 30 days. Holy crap, that's expensive for 30 fucking days worth of. Please tell me these things do anything. Do you think? Please tell me you tell me at least what you do. So I get a little decal of a gun on me. But because I've never owned you, you don't tell me what you do. Oh. Alright, so let's go into a PvE match. Close all this, and we're joining. Let's see which uh, which one it is. One of the good things about um, Armor Warfare, I will admit, is just how easy it is to get in and out of matches. Or like, but I mean, actually like getting into a match. So we got two M41s, a Patton 48, a P54, and us, the LAV 150, M41. Not 100% sure. Oh, we're at the front here. Wow. I see a whole lot of tanks. Okay, so that's four, four MBTs and us. <laughs> I feel a little... Uh, So we're just going to rush up, basically. Blue company's down. Capturing the port is up to you now. Black company, 
Stand by for new intel. Our airstrike team is en route to destroy cartel contraband. Intel suggests it's hidden amongst emergency relief supplies. See if you can find the contraband before everything is destroyed. A lot of our rounds are not going to do much. I would love if I had an option to re reload here. guys like don't let the uh, the light armor vehicle do all the job please thank you so the lab do all the work I'm gonna go to the middle of the map Theoretically, I should be scouting for these guys, but... Oh. That's way outside my range. Here and we're gonna scout down for these guys. Let's tank move up here. Oh, okay, maybe he won't move up there. And well, we're gonna move forward here and. We're gonna support this. Gonna be able to get down there and shoot that guy. We need to take a hit. Should we get this guy near the back end? Oh, actually, it's only a, it's a Sherman. We can hit him anywhere we want, bit much. These 41s, we can hit them just about anywhere we want. If they pay attention to us, we're kind of fucked. To me, is it funny that the most lightly armored vehicle No one's taking care of that guy. We want to get him right near the back. Come on. What the hell's going on with the other guys in our unit here? They're not 
doing much here. We don't care about the turret. Save this guy down here. Contraband. Good. Mission complete. Good work. The civilians will be happy. The hell just shot us. Something's down this Robot way. Dead. Helicopters are on route to support you. Not good, not good, not good, not good. There's at least three of them over here from what I'm seeing. Oh, and the fuckers cap the base. We have control of the dock and cartel ship. It will take some time to sort through the contraband here, but you've done your part. Enjoy your day, day. <laughs> well, there we go. Twelve plus kills. Tons of damage done. Let's see how we did. It's very fifteen kills. So it's four MBTs at us, and we just walked it. Just walked it. Do you think how good it'll be when we're running a uh, an MGS or the MGS? We one shot killing most of these people. And let's see how we did. The AAO or after action report. So overall we made 13 grand and we got 5,200 XP. We maxed out our lab 150, um, whatever. Our Wolfie went up, a BMP development went up, wheel destroyers went up. Um, ba -ba -da -ba -ba. Both of our crew went up, our team also went up. Overall we got 4,831 damage, 15 kills, we spotted 19 gentlemen. We got three medals. We got teamwork, completed a successful PvE match with no losses, destroyed destroy the most enemy vehicles in a successful PvE mission. Minimum 15. We got exactly 15. And that's when I Blue Star earned the highest reputation in a successful PvE match. And we didn't get any gifts and we didn't get any loot because that's coming to later. Overall, team wise, we did 3,000 more than the next person closest to us. Like four kill or four spots, six kills. Um, with assists, yeah. Assists. That was the T-54 we were running with for uh, for a while. No, sorry, that was the patent we were running with. And he was scouting for us, basically. <laughs> uh, that's the amount of reputation we got, which is pretty good. Overall details. So we fired 289 rounds, of which 226 landed, which is pretty good. 15 kills. We damaged 17. Potential damage we could have caused was 1,338. But the total amount we caused was 4,831. This is about rounds that were bounced. So overall, damage from penetrating hits, boom. Uh, we had 171 penetrating hits out of the 200-something we fired. Uh, for the amount of damage we did close to 150 meters was 1,031. We did no damage further than 3,000 meters. Uh, we did fourth, we did pretty much 90% of our damage while we were stationary. We did 259 when we were moving. Uh, the amount we caused when we were concealed was about half the amount we had, which is 2,500. We did 117 critical damage. Most of our damage was to uh, light tanks, MBDs we did 1,000 damage on, we did 406 to armored fighting vehicles, um, so the damages we did to uh, vehicles that weren't equal to our tier was 3,700, uh, that were lower tier to us is 1,000, 
and our overall damage ratio, the amount we received versus the amount we got, was 14.21, which is really good. As uh, long as it's not negative, you're laughing. Um, and to be honest with you, is if you live through these PVs, you're doing really good. Uh, we got two total assists, and that co that is an additional 873 damage that was caused by those two assists. Uh, we spotted 19 enemies. Because of uh, we uh, we took 16 protective hits and took 340 rounds for the overall breakdown. Because we're in the match, we made 293, 22 reputation, etc., etc., etc. Our minor bonus, um, because of our vehicle, we get a 0 0.011 um, bonus for it. So we get uh, the bonus multiplier, plus there's all these little extra bonuses, first day multiplier, match tier multiplier, uh, UI bonus event, or balance event, um, which I didn't even know there's an event going on other than Christmas. Um, so overall we made 5,000. Um, this tells us what our multiplier is to this. Uh, then we made 13 grand. Uh, we used up four grand in this event, uh, mainly because we had to repair ourselves near the end there. I was worried I was going to take it out. So after deductions and everything like that, we made 9,200, which wasn't too bad. And the total net reputation was 52,000 or 5,200, which is pretty good. Not a bad match whatsoever. So we're going to close it almost enough to make a, get another, another uh, tank here. see what's going on. There's no way for you to turn this off and I don't like it. I don't have a battalion. So, with that in mind, let's see what we can do about our crew. So, do we want to give them smooth ride, which improves Akisuma moving. Battering ram, damage obviously. Uh, do we want to increase off-road driving skills? You see, acceleration off-road is, is better. And spin to win. Whole transverse speed improved by 10%. Um, we can give that, all this to the possible, to the... Uh, the driver, okay. I'm thinking... Smooth ride. Increase our accuracy. Last but not least, the gunner. Loader's also for loading. Yeah, cool, this guy does both loading and... We can give them all these things. So we can give them secured ammunition, ammo, rick, uh, ammo hit point, ammo rack hit points, increased by 40%. That's the ability where you can fire off a round and basically kick off all their ammo or the rounds in their uh, in their tank or a uh, personnel carrier or um, AV, AFV or SPG or what have you. Explosive shells. The module damage is improved by 20%. Preparation, ammo swap speed by 20%. We don't need to worry about that because we're only running one, one type of ammo. Reload time is something I'd be interested in. Um, we can reduce it by 5%. Shoot from the hip. Minimum accuracy when accuracy circle is the largest, improved by 20%. So we basically you know, improve, um, improve our accuracy by 20%, which can be used in conjunction with what we gave this guy possibly. Quick draw, aim speed is improved by 10%. Do the twist, transverse speed. Is improved by 10, 10 that'd be, that would increase it by 20. And last but not least, marksman. Peak accuracy, when the accuracy circle is the smallest, improved by 20%. So we can theoretically improve our accuracy by 20% if we want to, or certain things. I'm thinking, um, I want that reload time, because that is our major, our major thing right now, is to get that reload time down. Because that's what killed us in this match. Um, we probably could have taken out a couple more, uh, we could have probably done way better. But, uh, yeah, but there you go. So here's where we're sitting at right now for our, our guy. We still can't put, still can't maximize everything here. We will be able to later on, but uh, yeah. What I want to unlock is for the armor. I want to get this. Uh, the improved engine housing, or even to be honest with you, the, the whole uh, the whole reinforcement wouldn't be too bad. For firepower, there's a couple things I wouldn't mind getting. Um, the advanced MRS, the experimental propellants, um, enhanced shells would be would be good. Um, you can see I already unlocked a few things. The thing is, with this game is you can get all these for free by unlocking and purchasing other tanks. So it forces you down paths to play tanks. Um, certain branches of tanks to unlock them. Uh, like you can click on it, it'll tell you. If 
Define Schematic Mark 1, for example. I click it. Tells me I have to have the the OF40 to get it, and it's right here. So a lot of tanks and a lot of guys have it. We go to upgrade here. There we go. Enhanced sight interface. Well, we can now get the enhanced sight interface for this guy. We've unlocked it. So now when we go back to our garage and we hit uh, retrofits uh, enhanced interface so I figure where it is right there so we're just going to hover over it. it. improves the site interface to help provide additional information about enemy at long range. This feature, imp uh, this feature improved information about the status of your own vehicle thanks to the digital display enhancements. Improves component saving throws and increases visual range. We really want this. We will get, if we could, all the way to Mark III. To get to Mark III, it's on the VBL. Which... Oh, it's on Wolfie. Damn it. Oh no, it is ours. Perfect. It's on the VBL, which, if we scroll down, is right here. So, I mean, it's not that far down from the XM800T, which we're going to look at right now, real quick. So, this is our newest tank, the XM800T. Let's take a look and get some information from it, shall we? It's American, for one. So, for damage is 22, 77, uh, 72 millimeter, 4,000 damage per minute, does way better. This is one thing I really like about this game, is you can have more of the things here. So, you notice damage per minute is a lot higher. The armor penetration is lower. The damage it does is 29 versus 22. Now mind you, this is once we've, we've already pimped this thing out pretty much, right? Um, hit points is 760 versus 800. We have the, uh, the upgrade already. Um, ba -ba 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 -ba. The hull obviously is, is a lot better. Mobility is way better. Max speed's a lot better. Um, the camouflage rating is is better. View range is way better. It's got about 20, 20 meters on top. The cannon depression is better. We can go, you know, we can aim down, aim up a little better. Um, reload time is better, or sorry, is worse, but in time, right? Accuracy, meh. It's uh, it's not too bad. 16 versus 14. And then target times 2.2 versus 2.28. So 2.23 versus 2.28. So theoretically, we got 0.5 second extra you know, cut down on our on our on our on our, uh, on our targeting time, which is really good. Um, what I'm planning to do with this guy is let's see how we can unlock the additional thing here. We're going to immediately cancel that. We're actually going to immediately put on. Hmm, Something for firepower. Something that'll give us oomph. Uh, faster loading shells. Improve your chance of penetration. Helps round cause more damage. Mark 1. We're definitely doing that. Uh, if we go to Mark 3, what's Mark 3 on? Mark 3's on the T90, so fuck that. But there we go. Now to end this little match here, I don't want to see this. There's got to be a way. UI. Chat. No. Social. There we go. Mute all chat. see what happens now. Alright, so we're going to collect some materials. So we got 200 materials to spend on an upgrade. The XP is 300, the airport's 300 for equipment costs, command center's 450, so we don't have any money at the moment to upgrade anything. We're just going to go back to the garage. So there we go. So here is our new tank, the XN 800T ARSV. It's an American uh, basically scout or recon tank. It kind of looks like a precursor, to be honest with you. 
to the uh, the M1 or the uh, the Bradley or the Fox possibly. What I don't like is this right here. That's way too scary. Someone could probably penetrate that. Anyways, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the battlefield next time. Bye-bye. <laughs>